these shoes may be the most comfortable you will ever run in. It feels bouncy and it has extra cushion in the midsole. They are light and super fast. The second version can make it even more greater and add a bit more stability. I love the amazing bounce effect which helps me to save some energy during my runs. The blast pushes me forward, it just empowers me to run more kilometers, more time. I would definitely recommend the Novo Blast 2 to all those runners who want to go faster in the training sessions and also still feeling a soft landing in every step. Novo Blast 2 are bouncy, light and very fast. I really, really love them. More than 50% of runners are women, and yet, most running shoes are created with the male form in mind. What? Yeah, no thanks. Woo! We have a couple of anatomical differences comparing to men's feet. We have slimmer heel feet. And the incep curve is lower. And we're no princesses waiting around for the right shoe. We make our own. Millimeters make a huge difference in fit. So we tapped into 1.2 million foot scans and created a new ultra boost that works specifically on female feet. Yes! Okay, but how did you do it? The key is that you don't ever let someone tell you you can't do something. Record breaking does come with wisdom. Am I right? Every single detail that we upgraded is from a female consumer's point of view. We are the experts in this. Yes! You go, girl! No one is you, and that's your power. My next tattoo right there. The key elements of Ultra Boost to be kept. We implemented a 360 foot update for this new version. We changed the foam on the heel for a snug feeling designed to help reduce chances of heel slip and blisters. And a newly refined outsole to the millimeter. All this to support the ultimate comfort and energy return. So Muriel, how would you describe the shoe in three words? Tailor to us. Genius. If you feel great, you can perform better. And I feel divine, because the Ultra Boost 22 is the shining example of what great teamwork can do. The success of every woman should be an inspiration to all. Sort of what I was saying. Because when we run in parks or, you know, the world, Woo! we go full on unstoppable mode and that's when high energy happens. Come on. Ultra Boost 22, high energy. You go, girl! I always clock between 200 and 220 kilometers a week. Last day, we normally have 40 kilometers. And you remember running 40 kilometers in altitude, I mean, town hill and, and half hill road. It's really hard. It destroys the muscles. I need to get the best shoe, uh, which can really protect me from the impact from the crown, which can actually make me benefit from the old runs. Because when you are too tired, then you cannot actually do the next workout in a required time. I think that this tempo shoe and the future train very hard. To me, a measurable benefit to a runner's training means the shoe is going to allow me to achieve 100% of my own success. You can run fast in any shoe. The question is, are you running in a shoe that's eventually going to hinder how fast you can run? Or is the shoe actually going to help you run fast? 
The tensile fibers inside the Zoom airbag are what makes it really special. Without those fibers, if you put pressure on one side of the airbag, all of the air would rush to the other side. But since those tensile fibers connect the top and the bottom of the airbag, when you put pressure on one side of the airbag, it holds that internal pressure and gives you that energy back. The plate is important because it helps provide some propulsion. It also helps smoothen up the transition between the foam and the airbag. ZoomX is the lightest and most responsive foam that we have. However, because this is a training shoe and we want it to last, we put React foam in the heel. And so this combination of durability and energy return is what makes this shoe super special. Uh, one of the beautiful things that we are doing is we're really aiming for universal design. The Zoom Tempo Next Percent Fly Easy has a classical heel that allows the user to insert the foot by pushing down on the heel and sliding their foot in similar to a slide or a mule. As we continue to push the limits of not only making athletes better, we also need to push the limits in terms of allowing all athletes to wear our product. I think the tempo gives you a little bit of taste that is sometimes just reserved for the ultra elite runner. But we tested this shoe on multiple continents and with so many different types of runners. If you can take the learnings of our race day shoes and if you can put them in a training day shoe, well, all bets are off on what barriers get broken because you have a limited amount of space to get better on race day. But if you extend that out to the four month buildup, you're now looking at hundreds and hundreds of miles of improvement that can fall into a 26.2 mile day. Giddy up.